Fantastic Emoji Stories. Jerusalem Treaty 2023, Historic Peace Settlement Between Israel and Palestine. In October 2023 the serious warfare between Israel and Palestine reached its peak. The international community and the United Nations were deeply concerned about the escalation of violence and the possible outbreak of an even greater conflict. Given the urgency of the situation, the United Nations and the European Union called a peace conference in Geneva in November. Although both sides were reluctant, they yielded to international pressure and agreed to send delegations. On December 5, the Geneva Peace Conference began. Intensive negotiations started under the auspices of the UN and EU. Norway and Egypt played key roles as mediators, based on their history of conflict mediation in the Middle East. In January 2024, several humanitarian pauses occurred during the conference, during which aid organizations gained access to vulnerable areas. These pauses allowed both sides to see firsthand the horrific consequences of the conflict which increased pressure on leaders to find a solution. On February 20, a breakthrough was reached. Israel agreed to evacuate West Bank settlements, and Palestine agreed to recognize Israel as a state. A two-state solution seemed within reach. In March, Jerusalem was recognized as the divided capital of both states, with certain holy sites under international administration. In April, Israel and Palestine agreed to form a joint security commission to oversee peace on their borders. In June, an economic agreement was signed, stipulating that the two nations work together to promote economic projects and increase prosperity throughout the region. On July 1, the Peace of Jerusalem was ceremonially signed in the city of Jerusalem. This treaty provided for a sovereign Palestinian state living side by side with Israel in peace. In August, the implementation of the treaty began. Palestinian refugees received compensation and the opportunity to return. International peacekeepers monitored the transition process. By the end of 2024, tensions still existed, but the major steps toward peace were irreversible. International investment poured into the region, and the Middle East conflict that had kept the world on tenterhooks for decades, seemed to have finally come to an end. 2025, with the peace treaty firmly established, Israel and Palestine begin to initiate cultural and educational exchange programs to promote understanding and harmony between their citizens. The Middle East Cultural Festival held alternately in Jerusalem and Ramallah, attracts visitors from all over the world. 2026, tourism in the region booms as tourists from around the world are able to visit the historic and holy sites in peace. This leads to an economic boom in both countries. Joint infrastructure projects, such as a train connection system between major cities, are launched. 2027, a major step toward sustainable peace occurs with the establishment of the Middle East Technology and Research Center in Tel Aviv, where scientists from both countries collaborate to find solutions to regional challenges, such as water and renewable energy. 2028, youth unemployment drops dramatically as joint education and vocational training programs are introduced. A major success is the Youth for Peace program, which brings together young people from both countries to develop and implement collaborative social projects. 2029, Israel and Palestine celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Peace of Jerusalem. A joint memorial will be built in Jerusalem to remember those who lost their lives in the conflict and to emphasize the importance of lasting peace. The area around the memorial is called the Park of Peace and serves as a symbol of hope and cohesion. Over time, more and more people in the region and around the world are realizing that peace, cooperation and understanding are the way forward. Despite the challenges that arise along the way, the spirit of unity and progress remains strong.